Clock up, my shop. And you're chilling with me on the couch like no lean. But now, you're sick. What? Fuck! 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 It's about now. We are the movement. Catch our weekly show. Fashion meets interior architecture with rhyme obsession. Fastness brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursday. Last, don't miss our weekly update. We are Black Nation. Pop lyrical. Show today, uh, we are hanging out with the digital Muscandi Lord himself. Hi. But I think before I give away too much, uh, let's go check out what we got up to out in the streets. Let's do this, Black Nation. Basically, my friend, my friend, my ex's Josie. So, yeah, man, I'm just out here just to check out the hours. Ricky was performing. I just saw Boz Zone. What's not? No, man, shout out to all my fans in Sensing, man. I'm just out here, man, you know what I mean? It's not no VIP, though. It's just being in my mind. You sing in digital Muscandi, but in that song, you sang. That was when I heard your vocal capacity, <coughs> like there. Mm. So I want to know, tell me a bit about that process behind that song, Sumani. And cool. yeah. Um, so, the studio, though. Hey, when hit me up, um, so, no, 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 he did, um, he called Maraza, because he had Maraza's phone uh, uh, number. Uh, he wanted my number. So he's been googling me and stuff, like trying to find co contacts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, I heard my brother talking and told him that the speech here, uh, anyone who wanted your number, he might hit you up. Mm -hmm. And then um, two days later, he called. He's like, yo, um, I like your stuff, whatever, whatever. And uh, I would like to sample some of your songs. Um, at that time, I had I had just dropped the EP, the Black Xmas show. So mm -hmm. we took one of us, uh, the thing in Trial Apart, it was track number four or five. Uh, he sampled that one, mm -hmm. and then he rapped on the song, but he used the whole thing as a chorus of, of, of his track. Mm -hmm. uh, but he didn't carry Maraza shit. Uh, anyway, okay. that's 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 okay. And then I heard the track. I was so. I was really like impressed, kind of impressed, like oh, people are like, really digging this stuff, they're trying to sample me now, mm, mm, mm. awesome stuff, but I was like, I'm not really sure about the whole production thing, mm -hmm. I would like to be part of everything now, so yeah. I, I, I told him that, you know what, let's just make some time, out. When, when I come down to Durban, we can hook up like a nice studio time mm -hmm. and then you can record like a proper track like from the ground up and it was like alright cool mm -hmm. and then uh, three months later I went down so to cool. Berlin and then went to the studio I was staying in Hilton for like seven days Holla back. and he came through to my hotel and then he picked me up went to the studio and then we vibed and then uh, his producer, or Sketchy Bongo, played something. I was like, yo, just stop there, my boy. I've got the melody now. And then he started singing. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And then he played. Da -da 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 -da. And then he played. I started singing. And I went half. And then I fished out the whole thing. Okay. But 
only to find out at the end everything just makes sense because the whole concept now was actually centered around xenophobia like Wait. trying to fight against yeah yeah because okay i want to talk about your process because i feel like you're talking about the song mm -hmm. and i know that you don't actually write like you'll hook up voice notes mm -hmm. whatever but your process happens like once you jump into studio mm -hmm. is it still like that from the last time i checked well how have you evolved in terms of your songwriting mm -hmm. and how have you <coughs> developed your your creation process mm -hmm. you know what i mean um it, it, it differs man like songs like um african lords for those who have the ep they'll know the song the song who doesn't have the ep well my, my fans in Puruko and they don't have a, okay. that they still have well the, the whole the whole process of like writing that thing that thing came as a dream basically the whole african lords so it was like yo this dude is telling you something it's a story if you listen to african lords it's a story yes. Someone beat you up. Whatever. Do you understand? It's 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 a full process. It's a story. It's a movie. It's a movie. Short film. Yeah. So a difference like songs like um Shandaraba, Ekelemende, a freestyle. But I had to go back home and be like, mm, I need to change that. So now you have to think about what you're going to say now so it's more like you're writing now subconsciously yeah for sure it's a writing process yeah even if you don't have to write it down but you're going to go to the studio because you've rehearsed it you're going to go to the, to the studio and just nail it because you know exactly what you're going to say and like just like from the top boom. yeah so it differs man it differs but yeah i don't write to answer your question okay Um, how would you explain it? I don't want you to talk about how you translated it into your EP specifically because they're gonna hear it, okay? Mm. But I mean, the title itself, Urban Zulu, uh, Black Excellence now leading up to this, mm -hmm. how would you explain that development? Cool. Um, that's, that's a good question, actually. Up to. How can I break it down for you? I want the easiest way out. <laughs> like seriously, okay. it's like um, think about like the breadwinner at home, like breadwinner mm -hmm. is, in, is in, in a coma now in the hospital. Yes, understand. Yeah, all praying, whatever. Mm -hmm. they all pray, pray. I pray hard, but you all pray. You come to the hospital with everyone. Mm -hmm. All you pray the whole time. Mm -hmm. Pray for this guy to come back to life and to save you. But when when when, the, when this guy comes back, when, when it's that time, when this guy opens his eye, mm -hmm. when you see that that life, you understand? Because if you're in a coma, I have a friend who's in a coma. He's been in a coma for like four months. Mm -hmm. Understand? Um, I still pray for him now. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for that moment when. I get a call from doctors or whatever, but your the friend is up. Understand? That moment itself, that call, it changes everything. When you in, in that space in the hospital, mm -hmm. and then it could be your father or your mother, mm -hmm. when they open their eyes, that moment, like wow, gives you life. Understand? So that's the whole process of the the urban dream. See, I revive, you understand? We had that moment in the moment of saying all of that. You had the black excellence show. You knew exactly what you came for. This guy has his own direction. Well, do two, three tracks in that EP, it tells you a lot about me. Mm -hmm. I talk about myself. And I, in essence, you're talking about the people, I think. I understand. I talk about people that make sense to me. Yeah. People that. About the same billion you understand? Yeah. All my experiences and stuff. Yeah. It's not about you know, turning up, I've got a uh, shit loads of money, I've got girls all over me, you understand? I'm just saying. Okay. But uh, this the, the moving from that coming to to this thing now, it's like that moment 
when you, you see that person who wakes up. Okay, I hear like, you. Oh, you back? Yeah, okay, I hear Do you. Do you understand that? I hear you, I hear you. That's, that's, that's just the answer. It's about now. We are the movement. Catch our weekly show. Fashion meets interior architecture with I'm Obsession. Fastness brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursday. Last, don't miss our weekly update. We are Black Nation. Pop lyrical. I want to ask you about particular moments um, from the time you came to Joburg up until now. Moments which have kind of shaped where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Specifics, not the generic stuff. Stuff that you can truly say are moments where your vibrational sort of energies come together in those moments and you feel like this is something substantial I can carry to the 4th of April 2015. So, holistically, you're just speaking about moments. Yeah, I just want you to pinpoint things that really mean a lot to you. Moments. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you answer that? It's, um, things that mean, mean a lot. It's like, um, Just things that have like... I know, I know, just, just, just give me a chance. Um, okay. Oh, um, like getting a call from my dad. My dad doesn't really like, like phones and stuff. Mm -hmm. So... He called me like a week ago. About a week ago! Okay. okay. And he called me like a week ago. Yeah. And even today, I still think about that. Like, this dude just took the phone, actually, he took the phone, he called me. Not that he doesn't like me, he likes me. But he's that dude, like that Zoom dude that's yo, your mom will call you. And your mom will pass the phone. Oh, and be like, that's yeah, like, okay. yeah. That was so special. Oh. Do you understand? So he took the phone and then he called me. That, that was really so special. That was really special for me. And then I'll carry that maybe whatever. And another thing, it, it, um, I'm thinking about that that one moment that changed my life. It was back to the city performing. Oh, we know that. Do you understand? That one performance changed. The entire dude, like the whole like, life, was, like, like just sticks. changed. You understand? Yeah. I was that dude that nobody cared about, like that nobody even didn't yeah. even care to like tweet or something. But today I get tweets like, "Yo, Michelle, can you get it? When you look at me, do you think I can get it?" Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, hey, so okay, no. good. Never mind. And we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with the shot with them. And my team. My team is awesome. At Black Nation, we are awesome. So yeah, let's be great. I'll see you next week. Wednesday after 4 o'clock. Black Nation. Sinking tunes with myself. Q. Q and vocals.